In this video, we are going to determine the properties of triangle. Uh, what can we say that a triangle exists and how to determine uh, the type of triangle given sides? Determining the existence of triangle. So let's have this theorem first. Uh, we have theorem 8.1. Given three possible sides, a triangle is formed whenever the sum of two sides is greater than the third side. Okay, so uh, we're given three sides, of course, the length of the three sides. And then how do we determine if these sides will form a triangle? So again, we need to add the two sides, then it should have this uh, property that the sum of two sides should be greater than ter the third side. Okay, so let's try this example. We have example 3, 4, and 5. So uh, the length of the sides is 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so to check, simply uh, check the sums. Okay. Uh, 3 plus 4 is 7 so again uh, 7 is greater than 5 okay so let's check how about 4 plus 5 it's 9 okay and 9 is greater than 3 okay so it's still check it's still check how about 3 and 5 so 3 plus 5 uh, compared to 4 which is the third side so we have 8 8 is greater than 4 so check so for example number 1 3 4 and 5 the triangle exists okay so given 3 4 and 5 as the length of the sides of the triangle it can form a triangle with these lengths okay how about example number 2 so we have 2, 2, and 10. So again, we add, we add two sides and compare it to the third side. So 2 plus 2 is actually 4. But 4 is less than 10. Okay, take note that 4 is less than 10. The sum of the two sides is less than the third side. But it should have this principle here, greater than the third side. So... In this scenario, the triangle does not exist. Okay, so to illustrate, just imagine if you have two. Okay, so this is two sides. Okay, this is side A and side B and they are equal. Since this is two, they are both two, then two. But the third side is ten. So this, let's say this is ten. So how, how yeah, it's very obvious that... Uh, putting this longer side here okay this is uh, five times greater than the length of a and b so c is actually 10 uh, we cannot form a triangle using these three lengths okay then we have this here how do we determine the type of triangles given sides so we have theorem 8.2 Given three possible sides, A, B, and C, where C is the longest side, okay? So, we can actually use these three con uh, conditions here. So, if A squared plus B squared equals C squared, then a right triangle is formed. So, obviously, this is very familiar to you. This is actually Pythagorean theorem, okay? Uh, then... If a squared plus b squared, if you try to add the square of the sum, okay, or if you have, you have this, the sum, the square of the sum being greater than c squared, you have an acute triangle, okay? However, if it's less than c squared, you have an obtuse triangle. So let's have some examples. Okay, so let's have example number one. We have three, four, five. So again, we are going to add the square of the two shorter sides and try to determine if the 
the third side, the longest side, the square of the longest side is equal to this sub. Okay, so we have 3 squared plus 4 squared, so this is 9 plus 16. So we're still not sure, so if it's 25, so 9 plus 16 is 25, and this is 25 here. So again, we are sure that this is 25. Okay, so whenever we have this here, so the relationship is equal, so we can say that the sides will surely form a right triangle. Okay, so based on our condition, if it's equal, the sum of the squares of the sides is equal to the third side, the longest side, it's a right triangle. Let's have example number two here. So we have the sides four, five, and eight. So again, we're going to add the two uh, shorter sides uh, square. Not just that, but let's add the square of the two shorter sides. And determine if this is equal to the square of the third side, the longest side. So we have 16 plus 25, and this is 64. And we have 16 is actually 41, and this is 64. Okay, so determining the relationship, this is less than, 41 is less than 64. So the sum of the square is less than 64. And whenever we have this kind of relationship, okay, so it's less than, we have an obtuse triangle. So this is actually obtuse. Okay, so of course if it's greater than, the sum is greater than, it's an acute.